Welcome back. So now, today, I'm going to show you how to use the pattern tool to be able to take your pattern, like you see here, um, and transform it into like a full-on pattern, like you see right here, okay? Um, so first thing I wanna do is I wanna make sure that I save this every time. So I'm gonna just go ahead and save this in my virtual learning. New design job, Frida. Okay. Um, always save. Then um, I'm ready to go ahead and oops, give it a minute to really save. Um, to use that pattern tool, which we haven't, I haven't gotten to show you yet. So that's what this video is dedicated to. Um, to do this, the first thing I need to do is I need to grab all of this. Okay. So I'm going to just click over. I'm going to go to my layers. Oh. I was just making sure I was saving it. There we go. I'm going to go to my layers. I'm actually going to unlock these so that I can just click and pull all of that. I don't want to grab my color scheme down here. It's fine if it stays there, but um, it's not part of my pattern. It was just a tool I was using. So I just clicked and dragged over all of my actual design. Okay. Then I'm going to go up to object. And basically what I'm doing is I'm taking this object and I'm turning it into a pattern. Okay. So object pattern make. When I do that, awesome. Um, when I do that, I get this pattern options window and if it doesn't pull up then you can go to window and open pattern options but it should automatically pull up also it's going to try and create the pattern with the exact same size that you already have so since that was already filling up most of my screen i can't see the rest of my pattern so what i'm going to do is i'm going to control and do the minus quite a bit so that i can see my pattern so there's my pattern Right now, you'll notice what I'm working with. So my original design is vibrant and still saturated so I can see it. And all my other copies that are, creating, that are being created through the pattern um, are dimmed. That's just an easy way to work with it. It's right here. If I decide I don't want to do that, I could um, dim copies. Oops, tool. Not that. Like make it all like bright. But I kind of like having it dimmed a little bit. So I'm gonna leave it there. Um, I can also make more copies if I wanted to, it doesn't really matter. You'll just have to expand your screen, okay? Um, next thing, I'm gonna name this. So I'm gonna name it Frida. Um, and then I'm gonna go to my tile type. So well, actually before I do that, I think I'm gonna size my tile to art right here. So what that allows me to do is kind of get rid of some of this pink. Um, because right now there's a lot of space between the design. So then I can kind of pull this down and make it a little tighter, which I like better. There we go. And I already like it quite a bit more. Now, if you like the way it looks right now, great. Up here is where you save and you can even just go ahead and save a copy and be good. Um, if you don't like the way it is right now, um, Go to tile type and you can start adjusting it. So I can play with this. I can do brick by row. And so I kind of like the way that looks. Or I can do brick by column. Um, I can adjust how tight it is. So, or how the bricks are offset. So you can see there's just lots of variations. Um, when I get into the hexagon, depending on your design, you kind of have to have it a little more spaced out but I mean, like there's different versions of it. I usually like one of these first three ones and I think I like this one pretty well. Um, I might make it a little bit tighter. There we go. Um, there we go. And that's looking pretty good. Like, I kind of like the way that that looks. Um, some other options that you have when you're doing with it. So as you're working with it in here, if you're like, ooh, I really 
don't like the background color, for example, I can actually click on the background color and like change it right here. So this is a working pattern, um, which is really cool. Um, ooh, that one's creepy. I can also, so I can click on any of these things. I can move things. Um, and so I don't know why I would do this, but I could like move that out a little bit. Um, and like move things around until you like it. So you can actually just work right in here, which is pretty cool. Once you have it the way you like, you are going to save a copy, which is up here. And I think it automatically saves it once over here, you can see. But I'm gonna do Frida, three, okay. Um, and then what it does is, it creates this pattern, but it's now a pattern that you can use on anything. And so it's gonna save this pattern into your Illustrator, into this document, um, as one of these swatches up here. So if you don't have your swatches up, make sure you go to Window, open up Swatches, and that's where it's going to live, okay? So once I'm done, I have my swatch ready to go. I'm gonna click Done, and it looks like I lost everything. Usually at this point, people panic, and they raise their hand and they say, Miss Jury, it's gone. Well, it's not gone, it's a swatch, okay? So what I'm gonna do right now to be able to turn this in and have it finished, I am going to create a new space, a new board. So um, this is like this white place where I was working is called an art board. Hopefully you know that from your graphic design PFA. So I'm going to go to the art board tool, which is right here. And I'm going to create a big one um, where I'm going to make my pattern, where I'm going to put the pattern on there. So here's my artboard. I'm going to click selection tool to get off of it. Then I'm going to just make a big rectangle. So a rectangle tool. I'm gonna click over that whole artboard to fill it up. And then I'm gonna click on my pattern. And voila, my pattern is complete. At this point, I would snip all of this together. Oops, I accidentally made two. Okay. I would snip all of this. I have two screens, so sometimes things pull up. Um, and then paste this in. This is your final product. This is what you're gonna turn into me, okay? Um, and that's it, which is really exciting. So good job. Let me know if you have any questions on your pattern. I know I just showed a lot, and it's a little bit easier when I'm there to actually walk you through, but I'm happy to screen share with you and help you in any way you need. So just communicate to me if you get stuck, but hopefully we get some really cool patterns. Have a great day.